So about a year ago, I filmed a video of my first impressions of Mountain Hardware's Ghost Shadow Synthetic Hoodie. And since filming that video, I've had so many requests to do a full review, uh, including some field testing and all that good stuff. And now that I've worn the jacket for about a year in varying conditions, I've decided it's time. In that first impressions video, I mentioned two things about the jacket that I was a little concerned about. Uh, the first being that the shell material felt pretty light and fragile, and I was worried that it would rip or tear, uh, especially doing like bushwhacking and things like that, and that is definitely the case. I have a couple of tenacious tape patches on the jacket, um, just due to the nature of the way I hike. I do do a lot of off-trail stuff and a lot of bushwhacking. I do a lot of scrambling over granite and down climbing and things like that. So the jacket's taken a, a pretty good beating, and it hasn't necessarily affected the function of the jacket, but it is definitely something to be aware of, that the shell material is pretty fragile. The other thing I mentioned in that video that I was a little concerned about was the hood. There's no drawstring or cinch cord or any way to tighten the hood down, and the hood's fairly big. It will accommodate uh, a helmet. You know, if you're doing any kind of mountaineering or anything like that, you need to wear a helmet. The hood will go over the helmet, but when you're not wearing a helmet, it's pretty loose, and especially in high winds, it'll just blow right off. And I've actually kind of taken to just not using it. I'll either wrap a buff around my head or wear a beanie, something like that. Uh, if I really need the hood, I'll wrap the buff over the top of the hood just to make sure it stays in place. So I think that's a big oversight on Mountain Hardware's part to just not have any method to cinch that hood down and tighten it down, especially if you're gonna be somewhere where it's kind of windy. One of the things that initially attracted me to the Ghost Shadow is that it's made of mostly recycled materials. The insulation is made from what the website describes as a semi-recycled permaloft. I did a little bit of research to try to find out what semi-recycled means, and the best I can come up with is that it's anywhere from 50 to 80 percent either post-industrial or post-consumer waste recycled material. The outer shell and the inner lining are both made from a 100 percent recycled tendonier nylon. It does shed water to a point. If you're in like a light rain or a fog or something like that, you don't necessarily have to worry about it. Any kind of sustained precipitation, heavy snow, heavy rain, you're going to want to put some kind of a rain shell over the top of it. And that's been kind of how I've used the Ghost Shadow, is more as like a, a beefier mid-layer. So typically I'll have my base layer underneath, then the Ghost Shadow, and then I'll put like my waterproof shell over the top, not not just for weather protection, but as an extra layer of warmth, because the jacket's not designed to be your primary warmth layer. It is definitely designed to be part of a layering system, so if you're looking for something that is lightweight and synthetic uh, and works well with a layering system, this could be a, a great option for you. As you would expect with a jacket like this, it is lightweight and packable. It does stuff down into its own pocket, uh, and on occasion I have had to use it as a camp pillow. According to my scale at home, it comes in at just over 13 ounces, so not a huge weight penalty for a jacket that is pretty warm. So another kind of minor issue that I have with the Ghost Shadow, and this goes kind of across the board with all of Mountain Hardware's clothing, is that the sizing is a little funky. My chest, and unfortunately my belly, would definitely fit better in an extra large, but the sleeves on the extra large look just like clownishly long on me. So I went with the large, and that has limited, you know, how many layers I can put under the ghost shadow. So I've definitely had to get used to adjusting my layering system and making this more of a mid-layer instead of an outer layer. And, you know, I suppose if, if I were a little thinner, I wouldn't have that issue. Definitely not a make it or break it issue, but just something you should be aware of, that the sizing is just a little bit funky in my opinion. As of the filming of this video, I've seen the Ghost Shadow ranging anywhere from $99 to $150. And I have to say, if you can score one of these for $100 or less, absolutely pull the trigger on that. For that price range, it's the best jacket you're going to find. 
I think if I had it all to do over again, I might have made a different choice for a puffy jacket. I do like this jacket, but I definitely don't love this jacket. There are quite a few things I would change, primarily the hood. Like that one really bothers me, that the hood, you, you can't cinch that hood down and tighten it up. So, you know, summiting in this jacket in, in a high wind situation is, kind of irritating. My overall feelings about this jacket, however, are mostly positive. It's definitely warm enough, it definitely is lightweight enough, and it works great as part of a layering system, which is my preferred method of staying warm, especially in the winter months. I don't want to rely too heavily on one piece of gear to keep me warm, especially when I'm doing, you know, big mileage days through the snow and things like that. I want to be able to strip layers off so that I don't sweat too much. And then at camp, I want to be able to kind of pile the layers on as needed. So while it is not my favorite hooded puffy jacket, uh, it is right now the one I have. And I'm not in a hurry to rush out and buy something new until I've worn this one out. So I will keep wearing it until I just can't anymore, but I'm kind of looking forward to getting something different when the opportunity arises. I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, hit that like button and we will catch you on the next one.